Hi guys, uh, Carrie here with a couple quick tech tips. Um, a lot of you guys have been asking how to add things to your um, to the faculty calendar because maybe you need to ask off or um, I don't know. Anyway, so um, I just wanted to show you how to do that today. Uh, you'll see I'm in my Gmail account here and I'm going to go up to my little apps cubes and go to calendar. Most of you guys already know how to get the calendar, so you're good there. Um, but anyway, you're going to notice that I have a ton of calendars. Um, the one that I'm mostly concerned with right now is this faculty and staff calendar. So I'm going to hide all of my other ones, just so that you can see what I'm doing. Alright, so here we go. I've got my faculty calendar up. Um, if you want to know how to hide those, you can actually just click the little boxes and it's going to bring them to and from. Here we go. Here's one with a bunch of stuff on it. My own personal calendar. Um, so, I have actually asked off for some time in October. Um, so I'm going to go to that date. There's a couple ways you can do that. You can either go by week, or if I want to jump from the month to October, I can do that. And my time is here in August 2nd. So I'm going to go back to week view, and here we go, I'm in the right week. Um, and you'll see here that it uh, looks like there's several different things happening already on the calendar. Well, I want to make an all-day event for Thursday and Friday, October 2nd and 3rd. So I clicked and I held in the button so that it uh, came up here. And I'm going to call it, oh goodness, let's call it Carrie's Time Off. Cool. So you'll notice that right now it's already in the faculty and staff calendar here, but you can actually decide what calendar you want to add that event to. Um, like, let's say you're adding something to the pet calendar. You could actually click that and select it and create the event. Now, I want to do the faculty and staff calendar because it's where it needs to be. So I'm going to hit create event, and you'll see it pops up up here. Now, I need coverage for my film class that Thursday. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to select the event and you'll see an editing uh, area come up on the screen. So to add somebody to your event, you're actually going to need to uh, click over here where you've got this add guest space and you can actually add just their email address there. When you add them um, and hit save, it's actually going to um, email them a little invite to let them know that you've been added, they've been added as a guest to your event. Um, that way we can kind of keep track of coverage if maybe for instance you ask off for some time and then it turns out that you don't need it. Um, you can always cancel the event and that's going to notify all of your guests. So anyway that's a quick, uh, quick how to, um, how to add time off to the faculty calendar and how do you add people to that event.